set up here. I need to go grab, oh, did I click something? Are you still there? Okay, good. I'm gonna grab my computer or my tablet so I can read comments while we're doing this. So I'll be right back while we get all set up. Actually, I'm gonna grab my computer. It's probably easier because it's right here. Good morning, good morning. Or it's still morning where I'm at, I guess, technically. You can still hear it in my voice. <clears throat> I'm still waking up a little bit here. Oh, let me clear out all my crap. Who else has like their beauty area all messed up right now? It's because I'm home and I'm like playing with all the things and everything's out. Let's get the computer up and going. Oh, I'm gonna eat my breakfast. I have my uh, teeny shake. They just launched a few days ago. It is so good. Seriously, the best chocolate protein I have tried. Um, I do also like the Vegan Smart protein. Um, they make a really good like vanilla flavored one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good morning. All right. Let's get into YouTube here. And uh, I'll be able to read your comments as we go through. Hopefully there won't be any. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if I can figure this out. While I'm getting this up, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's do that. Oh, there's an ad playing? Wow, fancy, okay. Good morning, Katie, how are you? How are the kiddos? How's the baby? Hi, Nikki, good morning. So is this picture a little more clear than last week? I am uh, trying to do this on my phone versus the computer. So I'm kind of doing it backwards than I did last week. You see all the mess back here. Everything that I'm decluttering and putting up on Mercari, it's still in full fledge. I got all the clothes up right now and I have to work on the beauty products next. So that's what this all is over here. So let's do this. <clears throat> Heavy, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> the quality's good, okay, good. It's just my iPhone, so I thought I'd try something new with doing that and I clicked the live button a little bit early. So let me see, I should probably plug my phone in so it doesn't die while we're chatting. Let's see if I can get this to connect up here. So high tech, I'm still getting things set up while we're doing this. <clears throat> okay, maybe I'll scoot over so you don't have to see the mess behind me as much. So I thought it'd be really fun today to talk about a couple of the beauty products that I have been loving and using the most. I did my base face just because it was one of those days when you wake up and you're like, I don't feel like putting makeup on, but I don't really like looking at my face today. <laughs> so um, it's just one of those days, you know, girl time. Okay. So I applied the Milani, what is this called? The Screen Queen Natural Finish Foundation. I believe this is brand new. I've been really liking this. I put a decent dent in it already. Very natural finish, almost like a satin, light to medium coverage. Definitely not your full, full coverage. You need to have a concealer to go back in with, but um, I've been really liking that. And then to kind of conceal different spots, and you can see in my under eyes is definitely getting dry and um, deepened up with allergies and stuff like that. I've been using the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer. Very surprised that I even like this. I have not liked a lot of the ColourPop of um, skincare or like different, um, what's the word, like face products. And I'm very surprised. I also have been using the 16 hour camo concealer from e.l.f. and I mixed them together because I wish this one was a little more hydrating and I wish this one had a little bit more coverage. This is very emollient, very much almost like a watered down version of the It Cosmetics um, concealers, like the Bye Bye, what is it? Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage. 
the ColourPop is pretty much like a watered down version of that. So very hydrating, very emollient, and very forgiving. <clears throat> it blends out weird on you. Oh no. Oh, but it looks better when you have the whole face done. Yeah, I kind of feel the same way. Don't mind my hair. I just kind of like threw it up so it was out of my face while doing our makeup here today. So let's do a little bit of bronzer so I don't look so sunken in and tired <laughs> like I am. Let's do the e.l.f. This is the Forever Sunkissed Bronzer. This is newer-ish to me. I got it about two, three weeks ago, and I'm really surprised by it. I ordered this in like an Ulta order. I got the blush and the bronzer because I was looking for something that was going to be a lower price point to the ones that I already love. I've been really liking the color effects bronzer duo but this is like 30 bucks or something like that and I wanted to find something that was a bit more frugal and these are pretty much the same undertone a little bit deeper on the color effects but you could see that the shade itself um like the the amount of warmth versus the amount of coolness in here is pretty much the same so I've been really liking this. I should probably bring a different mirror over so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, and what I just picked up is the little sponge that I got when I picked up some other e.l.f. product. I think I got the concealer and some eyebrow products when I was at Target like a month ago. This is before everything went down. And this is their new little sponge. It's super dirty, so don't look too closely. I need to clean it. But this, I have been pulling for more than my beauty blender. I'm surprised. Like, I didn't think that something that was like $6 could outweigh something that's like 20 something dollars. I've tried the Real Techniques one. I feel like after they changed their formula, oh, they, they say they didn't, but I know that they changed that sponge. Um, it's not the same. It is not the same. I feel like it breaks up and it falls apart after like washing it two times, no matter what I do, no matter how careful I am. Yeah, no thank you. So let's do this. Good morning, Sarah. I just saw your comment. I know that was around a couple minutes ago. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like there's way better sponges out there nowadays than just you know, going more high end when it comes to the Beauty Blender versus the Real Techniques one. Have you tried the e.l.f. one? Again, it's like six bucks. It's totally worth it. I'm slapping this on today. I'm not even doing anything like carved out or particular. I'm just not in that type of a mood. I just want a little bit of something, something on my face so that when I catch myself in a reflection throughout the day, I'm like, hmm, hi. <laughs> Not feeling like I'm looking at a gargoyle. <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> Don't talk about yourself that way. I shouldn't talk about myself that way. <laughs> but it is kind of funny. You know, when you catch yourself and you're like, who? <laughs> oh, that's bad. I'm just kind of, I don't even know what I'm doing. Just slapping it on. Just blend it out a bit better up here. You see my grays starting to pop through. Look at that quarantine hair. I'm running with it. It's all right. It's natural. I'm all natural as I'm pounding on makeup. <laughs> All right, let's put on a little bit of blush. I got this one because I tend to love pinkier, light peach type of blushes. It's almost a little bit too peach for my taste, but I still wanted to use it to see if I liked the formula, and I do. So I'd be curious to pick up some other shades. I know they have more of a rosier one. There is one from Physicians Formula that I really like. If you like more of the coral peach and this is much more subdued and very much more wearable this is the vintage rogue and then we have plum rose which is probably my absolute favorite and it's just like a dusty pinky mauve i like that one actually yeah let's put the elf one on i've been using a very light little fluffy brush to just very gently it's pigmented you do not want to pick up too much of this. Hey, Allison, how are you? 
Nikki, no, I have not tried. I don't think I've tried hardly anything for Burt's Bees, surprisingly. My sister sent me a link to a Burt's Bees foundation or something like that the other day. She's super into like essential oils and, you know, super, super natural than myself. I mean, I try to go natural, but you get what I'm saying. I'm making efforts, but I'm not 100% on it. She's like 100% on it. And, um... Yeah, she was like, have you tried the Burt's Bees stuff? And I was like, no, but I need to. I need to. <clears throat> I need a drink. Hmm, that's an interesting comment. I guess we're getting some interesting people here with us today. <laughs> I don't block very much. I don't delete. I don't um, block people very much. I, it's just kind of... It is what it is. Sorry, I gotta get comfortable. Let's get comfy. Hopefully you're sitting on your couch somewhere or making a snack or just kind of hanging out. Shy pink. Okay, I'm actually going to, oh, where's, I literally just said, where's my phone? I'm so stupid. <laughs> Cause I was gonna dive it into my notes. Um, Remind me and I need to, <laughs> I need to put that in my notepad that I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that blush. <laughs> Yeah, that was, that was goofy. Sorry. Oh, that made my eyes water. <laughs> I amuse myself, especially being home by myself on parts of Monday and Tuesday all day I'm by myself. And then Wednesday morning I'm by myself until the kids come here at noon. And I, <laughs> I just find myself talking to the dogs and like laughing and like making up jokes that only I could ever laugh. And we do have like, um, they're not nanny cams. What are those things? Like the little surveillance cameras in the house that you can like pull up on an app. So Logan will like pop in and be like, hey, cause you could talk through it. And we'll try to like spook each other or whatever. But there was one time he got a notification of like sound or movement or something. He's like, whoa, like I hope everything's okay. He'll pop in to make sure we're good. And there's only, it's only out in the living room, right? It's not anything creepy. And he hears me like singing and dancing to like a Disney song with the dogs. <laughs> I was mortified because he texted me like a screenshot of it. And I was like, oh my God, I uh, need to be mindful of where the cameras are and how weird I am. <laughs> yeah, I do that all the time. Like I'll be like, oh, where's my glasses? And like they're on my head. I know like people do that, but I do that a lot. <laughs> I do that a lot. <clears throat> oh, you know what I'm gonna put on? Because we're trying to feel pretty pretty, right? We're gonna go extra glowy today. And I'm gonna put on the Hourglass Dim Light Ambient Lighting Powder. I got it in the deluxe sample size because everybody talks about how amazing this is, but I'm, I'm a skeptic. I'm totally one of those people that's like, okay, everybody loves it, I'm going to hate it. I don't know why I go into situations like that, but I do. However, I really like this. I do wish it was a little bit lighter. And what I mean is not lighter in, in finish, lighter, lighter in shade. And I know there's a couple other ones out there, but when I go to put it on, it almost like deepens up the foundation or concealer that's underneath it ever so slightly. And I want to be brighter and more illuminated, so. But it's, it's something like I think I only notice. Like, I don't think anybody else is gonna, gonna notice it. And I'm just dusting it everywhere. I have some breakouts on my chin. Yesterday, I spent two and a half hours in my bathroom filming a at-home facial tutorial. So my skin is doing a little bit of purging and a little bit of healing. Like, it looks better in some places and definitely purging in some spots. Uh, that is to be expected. I am so excited to like, when we get off this live and get all the kids all situated with lunch, I'm gonna sit and edit that footage and I hope it turns out the way that I envision it and want it to be. I want it to be like a, uh, what is that series? The Go To Bed With Me? Um, what is that, Vanity Fair or something like that? And I, I want it to be like my version. Like, let's go through the steps of doing a facial at home. It's a very deluxe, very like almost bougie facial using lots of different tools and gizmos and gadgets. But I wanted one full-fledged facial video. 
And then I want to branch off and maybe do only drugstore products or a facial without using any tools. Um, and I just wanted that to be like the one big head honcho facial and then kind of break off and do other ones. I'm definitely open to hearing suggestions if there's a product line you want to hear talked about or using one brand. I want to do one that's just PCA because that is something you can have access to, but is more of a clinical line so you can get the results you're looking for. I need to get a concealer under my eyes that is going to actually cover up all of the tiredness. What do I want to put on? Maybe I'll put a little bit more of the color pop on. But I feel like my skin is soaking up the hyaluronic acid in this, like soaking it right up. Where's my little sponge? Let's see. Yeah, I'm super excited, Nikki, to edit it. I, I really just hope it turns out the way I wanted it to. I was like in my little bathroom with like four lights everywhere and all the products and it took so long. Not that the facial takes that long, but just, you know, setting up and making sure I'm like in focus and all that. So, um, it was, it was a work from the heart. Is that the way to put it? You get what I'm saying. I put a lot of heart into it. So I hope it turns out the way I want it to. Is that getting now like too many layers? Is that patchy? Probably. I probably need something a bit more emollient. Let me bust out the it cosmetics. I feel like my skin needs it. It needs a little love. I need to drink a ton of water today. That's what that is. So drink your water wherever you're at. Cheers. Take a sip of, of your drink. This is so good. Today I put a little bit of yogurt in it because I wanted it to be like extra thick and creamy. So that's really good. There we go. There's some soft coverage right there. I always see your comments, Sarah. I really appreciate the love and support that you've showed like my channel and myself over the years. I really, I do see like certain people, I'll see the names or their like little icon and I'm like, mm, I know it's them, I've seen them before. Okay, that makes me feel way better. Ooh, and look at that, see it allows that because it's not distracting the eye by the darkness under my eyes. I keep forgetting that this is live and I'm not editing, like I'm not filming, <laughs> I'm gonna edit this. Um, so I need to remember to like not pick my nose or do something stupid. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. I'm gonna put just a little bit on it just so that. <clears throat> you know what, we're gonna go extra bouge. Let's put on Natasha Denoa. This is mini blush and glow. I'm not a fan, this is way too pink for me, way too bright, but the, oh, the print is so tiny. It's like the all over glow powder in light. It is so pretty. So, oh, that is a lot. Whoa, too much prettiness, too much prettiness. Whew. Let's blend that sucker out. I don't normally apply that much. Leave it to me today. I'm just gonna like dust this everywhere and look like the Tin Man from, what is it, Wizard of Oz? <laughs> so is the Super Glow Highlighter different than this one or is this one, let me see. Sorry, the print is literally so stinking tiny. All over glow. So yeah, I think it might be different. Okay, so I want to do a separate video on this, but I'll touch on it with you here. I spent like over $200 on a full face of Natasha Denona. I mean, I got the foundation, I got the concealer, I got a bronzer, which, little side note, where is it? Oh, here it is, it's in my hand. Um, I actually really like the bronzer. Um, but the concealer, meh. Foundation, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Um, this is the Foundation X Plus Full Coverage Foundation. I have tried this like three, four times and I cannot get it to work for my skin. 
maybe if somebody out there can get it to work, maybe I'll post it up on Mercari and just, you know, be like, hey, I've used this, but like, I mean, it's in a pulp, it's sanitary. Um, I cannot for the life of me get that to work. Eyeshadows are okay. Like they're good, but to be honest, I mean, I mean, I use other e.l.f. ones, I use my Huda Beauty ones, and I'm really happy with them. So I guess I'm just not seeing the allure of the price point of the Natasha Denona versus what else is out there. I did also get even her eyeshadow base and I purchased these right around the holidays and you can see it's already like separating. So I, there's just something rubbing me wrong about the brand, that's all. But I do love this powder. I would be potentially interested in getting a full size of this if I run out. Although I do, I almost wish the hourglass in this one could like have a baby. <laughs> Cause that would be really great. I love the undertone of this one, but I love the finish of the hourglass. Let me put those down. Oh. Yeah, it's super confusing. There's like glow, all the things. Which I am an oily, acne prone skin type. So it's weird for me to be transitioning over to somebody who enjoys that more satin, more glowy finish. But I'm kind of digging it. And this is a process. We're not done yet. This is a process. Okay. What else do we want to do today? I already have some lip stuff on because it was looking dry. I use the e.l.f. I think these are new. Um, this is the Seriously Satin in Creme or Cream. So nice. Although it can feel a little bit dry. So I like putting a gloss on top. And in one of my recent Sephora orders, I got the Bobbi Brown Crushed Oil Infused Gloss. And I just was using it because it was up top. It was something recent. It just was easily accessible one day. And I cannot stop using it. It is so comfortable. It stays on. It has a light tint of shade of color, but it's not sticky. I don't feel it, but it gives that softness and that hydration and that comfortable feeling to the lips. I'm afraid to look at how much the full size is because of how much I like that. Um, I feel like we're glowy enough. I was gonna put my Amrezy highlighter on, but I think we're in a pass today, or at least at the time being. How are the brows looking? I did a little bit of the Precisely My Brow from Benefit right before popping on with you here. There we go, just kind of fill in that little inner area. I have been brushing them up more, my brows, kind of doing more of that laminated brow look. I wasn't sure that I liked it at first, but it does make them look more like fluffy and soft and full, so I dig it. Let's see. I wanna make sure that this is shared properly while we have a moment. Let's take a drink, stay hydrated. Kind of wipe off my lipstick a little bit there. Oh no, it didn't share. Poop. Let's see if that'll share it onto Facebook. Or if somebody's in the Facebook chat group that I have. You want to share it for me that'd be cool okay let's move on what do i want to do now i would actually normally set my makeup and set my face at this point because my my cheeks and stuff like that are done and i don't like spritzing the face when i have eyeshadow on i feel like it like eats up the eyeshadow or something like that so let me get my spray. You know I love the Scandinavia makeup finishing setting spray. Drops in here, maybe a tablespoon left in here. And then I'm gonna pull out my fan because we're gonna be extra bougie. Why not? We're sitting at home, we're not on a time limit. Let's enjoy ourselves. 
do oh it feels so cooling and refreshing and I feel like it just like melts everything together and let's get our fan on have you picked up one of these it's definitely something that I like giggled when I saw youtubers using it because I was like why don't you just use like the wrapper of an old eyeshadow palette or something like that or just fan yourself normally but this feels like that next level and it was like eight bucks I think I'll put a link to it in the description box once the, this video goes uh, posted after the live because this is probably one of the best investments I've made in myself in a little while see a lot of people do the whole setting spray before uh, eye look or mascara or anything like that. Thank you, Sarah. The brows look okay, not too heavy. This just feels nice. Like, I wish I could just carry this with me everywhere. Especially being out here in the desert. It's so hot. It was actually chilly this morning. I had like a little, my, I call it my ugly sweater. Until I get in under the lights and get warm. I had like my big old grandma sweater on. It's almost embarrassing. I'm going to show you. When in isolation, you know, the funny thing is I was talking to Logan about this the other day is I've been in quarantine before, so it's not weird or strange for me to be like not around people or to be stuck at home. And I don't know, it, it's just not a strange feeling. Uh, I've gone through a round of radiation and cancer treatments. I, the, where I had to stay in this room for a week and not leave this room other than to go to the bathroom right here and come immediately back. I couldn't even go to the fridge or anywhere else in the house because I didn't want to contaminate it with my radiation, um, especially with the kids and stuff like that around here. Uh, my kids, <laughs> that's kind of weird. Like I have neighborhood kids coming in. Um, I've also broken my foot, so I couldn't drive for, oh my gosh, like three or four months. So I didn't leave the house hardly at all during that period unless Logan drove me somewhere um I've gone through some some interesting periods in my life um yeah so I, I'm kind of used to being stuck at home I guess I'm a homebody okay there we go fix that up a little bit that was looking a little weird let's see where do I live that I'm in the desert I'm in Arizona I am south of Phoenix like we're right near Phoenix pretty much. And thank you for being a new subscriber, Mariana. Marina, am I saying that? I don't know. I wanna show you something. I am so excited about this. I saw it a couple weeks ago and I was like, mm, I don't need another eyeshadow palette. And I didn't know how I felt about the whole vibe, right? But then, I actually want to say, Katie, I want to say I saw you post about, I'm looking at you, sorry, I should be looking up here, I'm looking at your text. I feel like I saw you post about this, I, mean, I could be wrong, and then I was like, I, I have to have that in my life. Look at how beautiful, you know how much I love my greens, you know it, and this is just, uh, let's play with it. I haven't even touched it, because I've just been opening it and looking at it, <laughs> like the pure weirdo I am. Do you do that with some makeup? Do you just like open it and look at it? I was doing that for a long time with the Huda Light Nude one just because it is so, so gorgeous. I just would open it, look at it and be like, you're so pretty. And then I put it away. <laughs> oh, that's how you know you're a makeup lover, makeup collector. Oh, my brushes are behind here. They want big Bertha brushes. Although, to be honest, I really only use like three brushes. The one from Alamar, uh, one from Luxie. It's like a tapered blending brush. And for details, the Precision Blending Brush. These are pretty much the three that I use the most. Oh, and then maybe this one, the Firm Shader. But I use this to apply like eyeshadow all over the lid, which is what we're going to do right now. Let's see. So I'm going to put this Relax Shade. It's like a, the only matte brown, lighter brown all over my lid. I guess I should have put an eyeshadow primer on, but eh. oh well, we're winging it today. Oh, 
the birds of paradise. That's what it was. I knew there was like a colorful one that I saw in your um, story. Who was it then that I saw this one? I don't know. I follow so many, like I consume probably as much beauty content as like everyone out there. I know a lot of beauty YouTubers do those like YouTube tag videos where they talk about what video did they just watch and they all pretty much say like, I'm never on the platform. I don't, I don't have time to watch videos. And I'm like, man, I feel like if I'm like cooking dinner, walking around the house, doing like cleaning or like I've watched a lot this past week. And then I'm going to dip into this one that says cool. Um, I've consumed a lot of content this past week. Um, just because I enjoy it. I'll put my headphones in, even if it's a, a piece of content that like a get, not get ready with me, but more like a follow me throughout my day where I don't have to watch what they're doing, but I can like listen. I like those types of videos. Those are the kind that I put on and like will go and like clean stuff. Yes, Katie, I'm with you. I'm sorry. I just can't remember, but uh, I know it exists. <laughs> I probably have a screenshot of it. My phone is riddled. It probably has like 1300 pictures of just screenshots of makeup that I want or like I thought was pretty at some point. I have no idea what I'm doing with this makeup look. We're just gonna kind of wing it here. Okay, let's get some green up in here. Do we want to go super wide? What do we want to do today? Where'd my little, I actually think, oh, where's my Alamar brush? This one, I'm addicted to it. What is this one called? I don't even think it has a name. Even the Alamar part has kind of worn off just because I've used it so much, but it's like the flat one from the green line, that first collection she put out of brushes. Let me do this. Who's talking to me the most today? Let's do a matte shade and then maybe pack on one of these glitters and see how they pay off. So let's pick up a little bit of natural. There's a light sheen to it. Very, very faint. I don't even know if it's going to show up on the eye. Whereas plant over here is super matte. So I'm thinking maybe those could be nice together. Let's see, maybe I could put a little bit of concealer down first so this pops a little bit more. Where's my concealer at? Let's do the e.l.f. one because that one is, it covers things. It covers all the secrets. I know, I watch so much. I watch people like Casey Holmes. I watch Katie's videos. I watch Jen Loves Reviews. I watch... A little bit of Tati. I used to watch her more. I don't know what's going on lately. I just haven't, like I've seen her post stuff and I'm kind of like, mm. so I'm, I'm just in a phase right now. Uh, Samantha Ravindall. I watch literally everything she puts up. I'm obsessed with her in a non-creepy way. I'm not good at that. Okay, there we go. I feel like I'm way better at doing eyes on other people than I am doing it on myself. I've learned that about myself. Allie, um, she, I could see her in my head. <laughs> that sounded weird. I believe I watch her, yes. And Rachel loves, I, I watch her hit and miss. I actually have her, um, Highlighter palette, and I really like it. Actually, that might be right here. Yep. Her highlighter palette here. It's got a good dent in this one over here. <laughs> I really like this. It was interesting to have those other shades. I, I don't use them as much, but they're nice to give a little tint to that. Like, I use the darker one with this like golden sheen and I just kind of like mix all three and just get this nice bronzy glow. So she did really well with that. Yeah. 
yeah, I was really surprised by the quality of it. It's very finely milled. I mean, it's not my Amrezy highlighter. There's definitely going to be a bar to be set against that one. That one's like my holy, holy grail. Did I say that weird? Grill? Grail? I felt like I said that weird. Yeah, I try to like, when I'm searching for something specific, I'm going off of Sarah's comment that she likes the smaller YouTubers. I, I can agree because I feel like you just, I don't know, you get like a different vibe. You get a different vibe. Even if my channel was to blow up, I'm just, I don't know. It grew up very humbly. So that's kind of where my mind always is going to be. I'm always going to be a, a hoarder that needs to declutter and sort things out. I'm always going to be real and honest. It's just um, to see people change it. Yeah, it, it definitely is a deterrent. Uh, once they get to a certain point, I kind of like pull back. Uh, Miranda from Slash Beauty, I watch her. I watch Fira, Courtney from, from Fira. I'll see if I remember to link all of these channels that I'm talking about in the description box down below. I'm sorry, I'm mumbling because I feel like I need to concentrate. <laughs> I want to make sure I'm not messing this up. This is live. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's makeup. I could just wash it off. Does it really matter? We're just playing. Sometimes I'll do stuff like this, like at the end of the night when I'm oily and like I'm ready to take off my makeup, but I'm like, I don't feel like doing it. I'll come in here and I'll grab some sort of wild, crazy palette and I'll just start playing with the colors just for fun. It's just, kind of stupid but it's like no pressure to have it look good because I'm literally just gonna walk out and rinse it right off so it kind of you know it takes that pressure off or it makes it a little bit more exciting a little more fun this is the same color that I'm just building up here really slowly called natural and since I'm doing these light little motions I'm not really getting any fallout surprisingly and it did need that base to kind of stick and like pop the color to pop. So I'm glad we did the concealer bit there. Do I watch any non-beauty YouTubers? I want to say yes, but I can't think of any off the top of my head. So let's look at my history. I can go in here, I think, right? Can I go into... How do I do this? History. There we go. Although the kids use my account sometimes. So I'll like go on um, and click like recommended or what is it? Like when it pulls up your favorites and it'll be like weird Fortnite stuff. And I'm like, I don't want to be watching this. Oh, I got distracted. Uh, Jessica Braun. I do watch her. She's a larger-ish YouTuber, but I still feel like she... She keeps it real. For, you know, I, I still get a good vibe from her. Um, I watch a lot of mixed makeup. A lot of mixed makeup. A lot. <laughs> like, that's pretty much all I'm scrolling through right now. Let's see. I've been watching a lot of bridal dress try-ons. As I'm scrolling through here, it is like, little five minute snippets of say yes to the dress or um, this other one is a lookbook of different wedding dresses or I'm trying on wedding dresses because that's the process I'm at right now with our wedding planning. And we talked about this last week so I won't stay on it too long. But I don't have a dress and I can't really go anywhere to try dresses on. You know, I am grateful we did get to have one experience before the outbreak where I was able to go into a boutique, um, two boutiques actually, and try on dresses. So I have an idea of what I'm looking for. I just haven't found it. Like I have the pieces in my brain of what I want it to look like. Um, that doesn't really answer your question though. Who else am I watching? 
how to replace the bathroom sink stopper. Yes, I did that last week. So I had to watch a video just to make sure I was doing, in fact, doing it right. Um, this is a lot of videos. But they're all pretty much beauty stuff. Let's see. My daughter watches This Is How We Bingham, that channel of the family. I don't personally watch it, but I'm seeing it pop up in my feed or in my history. I know it's from her. I can't, I, this is live. I need to be mindful of my words. I just, I don't know. It kind of like irks me when she watches stuff like that. She'll be sitting in her room, like in a dark corner with her blankets and pillows and all comfy and stuff. But she's watching like other families have fun together. And I'm like, your family's right here. I'm right here, bro. Like, let's go do something. And she's like, no, I'm fine. And you know, that's not always. She doesn't sit in there all the time. But it's in those moments that I feel like my mom felt when I was like maybe playing video games or watching TV for too long. Like, you're sucking your brain out. <laughs> and she'll end up being fine. I know that. But it's just a weird feeling. Do you get like that with your kids? When they watch like other parents and other like families having fun and like doing cool stuff together but or like challenges and yet they're not like being proactive or like vibing with their family. I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. Trying to deepen up this outer corner and then I want to put a little bit of that matte plant color on top of it. So we used a little bit of the matte burn to deepen it up out here. And then I want to go in with this a little bit darker than the natural on the top of it. Let's see, I want to pull up my history a little bit more. Now you have me curious. Now I'm like, oh, what do I watch? More wedding dresses, <laughs> like six more wedding dresses. I do watch Allie. Here's like six of her videos right here, back to back. I binged her. It looks like on the 19th, so a couple days ago. Okay. I do watch her. Okay. Sometimes names to faces. I need to, to like see stuff. Andrea Mitigliano. I do watch her quite a bit. I like watching her anti-hauls. Because it's almost like what's coming out. It keeps me up on the times because I'm not always... <laughs> up on the times. Ooh, this looks so pretty. Okay, digging this so far. I like how that layered on top of the dark brown really nicely. Really, 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 really pretty. Okay. I'm liking it. The kids are going to come over and see my makeup all like, be like, whoa, we going somewhere? No, we are. We are not. <laughs> We are going to the kitchen out to outside. You know, we do have some crafts to do today and I'm gonna film some of them because one of my most popular videos ever of all time, this blows my mind because I did this video three years ago and I was like, this is so stupid. Nobody's gonna watch it. And honestly, the first six months, I had maybe 300 views on the video and I was like, wow, I just wasted my time. Nobody's gonna like, like it's so stupid, right? And then something must have happened because now it has like 1.3 million views and it's about depotting your candles and getting the wax out of the bottom of your candles with water. And it's so fun to watch. There's Everybody keeps commenting of different ways of how to do it. You do you and what way you feel comfortable doing. I just found this way. I found it amusing. It was easy. It was effective. And I was like, I'm going to share it with everyone. So I started saving, I literally have like 10 candles now and then a bunch of other different types of jars. And I started having my uh, wheels turning and I was like, what if I do a follow-up video to that on what to do with the jars now that you've gotten everything out? Uh, what's a different way to repurpose other things in the household? I have some salsa jars, pasta sauce jars, uh, lots of different things to share. So I wanna do that craft here with the kids today. What do I want to put on this inner corner? Let's do, let's do this. Maybe Candyland? I feel like that's bright enough. I feel like this one's going to be a little bit too dope. I love this color. Dope. It's dope. Oh, I wish I could edit that part out, but I can't. 
Um, let's see. Um, I guess not. A lot of this is like stupid, silly stuff that I plays in the background when I'm doing things. Lots of mixed makeup. I just watch a lot of that. A lot of and some more wedding videos, like of people's actual weddings. Cause I was like, oh, I remember that evening. I was having a sappy moment and I was like, oh, I want to watch everybody's weddings. I want my wedding to be like that. You remember the candle video? Yeah. I thought it was gonna like, it was just really just for me and I thought it was cool and I'm glad everybody has, has really loved it. That was before my surgery, I think. It was right before my surgery. So was that four years ago? I don't even know. I can't keep track of that stuff anymore. Ooh, I hope that's picking up because that is pretty. Okay, okay. Yeah, Logan's been getting on my case about doing this video because I've been collecting jars for a while now. He's like, you need to get these freaking jars out of the house or do something with them. Because I wanted to have extras in case I messed up. See, I have a hoarding problem. <laughs> but I wanna reuse stuff and I thought it would be fun. And now, you know, not knowing that this whole quarantine thing would be going on, like now is the perfect time to sit and not feel rushed. Oh my gosh, that looks, this transition right here. I, again, I'm putting candy land on, going from the inner corner on top of, what was that shade? Natural. Huh. So pretty. What are you guys doing right now? Are you doing your makeup? Are you just hanging out? What's going on? Oh my gosh, I've been doing this for like 47 minutes already? Dang. Let's see. I want to share it in my group because I don't think anybody shared it in the group just yet. Let's see if we can pull some more faces in here. Because I don't mind sitting here and hanging out. I got nothing going on. You got stuff to get to today? I don't know. Are you still working? Are you an essential worker? I'm sorry if you. I'm not sorry. I mean, it's good that you have a job. Like, I guess that's something that people have been going back and forth on is feeling grateful that they still have something to go to and, and bring in money for their family. But at the same time, seeing everybody else sitting at home, which is a bit more relaxing, you know, let's face it. Um, I, I, I get torn on it either way. You're going to go for a drive, just kind of like to get out and like, get some fresh air having breakfast what are you having I need to get more innovative than just my shakes although they are freaking good but I will say Timmy messaged me a couple days ago actually let me pull it up because I want to read it to you they are doing something in related to the whole corona thing wow let me pull it up because I don't remember it off the top of my head but I know I saved it because I wanted to mention it somewhere because I thought it was really important it says we want to provide some sort of light and positivity during this time of the COVID-19 outbreak for the next 30 days every order that is made on the Tammy Blends website no matter how much or how little is purchased they will donate a dollar which is worth 10 meals to Feeding America every time you order you are providing 10 meals to those who need help during these desperate times. Their goal is to provide 150,000 meals, help spread the word, um, and tell everyone about the amazing cause. I do have a discount code for 25% 20 off, uh, which is Sparkle25 if you want to make a purchase, save some money, and kind of give back without it coming out of your pocket because it's coming out of theirs. So I figured I'd share that. Uh, 
there's those little bits that we can do that we're we're kind of getting something in return. You're getting your protein powder, you're getting your tea, you're getting your this or that, but you know what? It's going towards a good cause too. So I figured I'd just throw that out there. <clears throat> They're not like paying me to say anything or anything. They just had sent it out and I thought it was really important to mention. Well, it was a cheesy smile, but I meant it. Um, I want to find something else that like the kids and I can do. Maybe I could have them maybe color different cards or write up different things. Um, Logan's grandma is actually in an assisted living home. So I was wanting to send her like a little care package or something like that, or just something like, Hey, we're thinking of you. I know we can't see you right now, but um, I don't know. I, that, my seriousness is coming out. Let's, let's talk about something a little bit lighter. Having some eggs. Okay. You miss going to work? I'm 50-50, I miss it too. I miss being able to like see my clients and seeing them feel better about their skin after our service. I, I miss that thrill. Um, but the work part of it, like the whole you know other aspect, I mean, there's always pluses minus to, to every job, but yeah, I do miss. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry to hear that. It says that, um, wow, I'm not gonna get emotional. <laughs> uh, I am so sorry that your mother-in-law is sick because she took him to the hospital now. <sighs> That's wild. It's crazy to, to feel it like it's not even close to like home, you know, for me a little bit, like just hearing that like somebody I know it has somebody going through it or, or you know, how, who, how it's affecting everyone in the world. It's, this is wild. Like, um, we are living through history right now. This is something that they're going to like put in textbooks. Isn't that crazy to think about like years from now, we'll forget about this process Kind of like when you have braces as a teenager, you're like, this sucks in the moment, but you like, you kind of forget about it. But there's always those moments where you have that, that, what's the word I'm looking for? Like nostalgia side of it? I don't know. Hey, Kavi. Is that how you say it? Sorry, I'm like looking from far away. <laughs> Let's get some eyeliner on. So in case I do get weepy, <laughs> we can drool off my mascara and eyeliner. Cause I feel like this will help finish up the look just a little bit. This is the physician's formula. Oh, I should use my new eyeliner. You know what? No, I'll use this one until it's dead. It's pretty much almost out. I have a new Maybelline one that I showed you last week. I still haven't opened it, but I've been trying to be better about that. Like even if I purchase something that's to replace something, not to open it before I finish what I have. Otherwise I am totally one to have like 12 mascaras open at a time. And that is just not cool. That is not okay. Looks half decent. See you later, Katie. Thank you so much for being here and hanging out. We're just kind of chilling today. This one wasn't too structured. I know last week we had like an itinerary. This week we're just kind of like chilling. If there's a topic you want to talk about or ask a question, please feel free to. Ooh, that wing is not going to be even to the other side. I got to play with that. Yeah, I feel like mascara is definitely one that I like open and then I'm like, oh, I want to try something new. I'm really good about having a lot of mascaras open. Oh, shoot. Okay, so this side, I'm going to use my finger cut. Oh, it's probably a no-no, but we'll be 
careful. I use like my nail and just very gently kind of like sharpen it up. I don't know, is that a thing? That's what I do on me. My brows are so furry. <laughs> These little chinchillas. I gotta wax them or tweeze them or something. Okay. Let's get some eyeliner on my tight line. It's one of my favorite little tips and tricks to do to kind of like pull the lash area together. Good, yeah, I hope this is something to just kind of like get your mind off of things for just a little bit. Not everything in life has to be so serious. We can just have fun with crazy green eyeshadow on a typical Wednesday. I guess we should be wearing pink on Wednesday. Actually, I am wearing pink, there we go. <laughs> I'm not totally off off kilter with that one. Do I want to do glitter now or do I want to do bottom lash line? Probably bottom lash line just to be safe. So let's pick up Mist because it has a light little sheen to it, a little bit more than natural that I feel like it would help kind of pick up the light. Actually, I don't want to use this brush. I changed my mind. I think I want to use this one from Olimar. Again, it's wiped off. I don't know. It's the flat top one. Man, where's everybody at today? I feel like it's just like the couple of us in here. That's okay. I'm having fun playing with different colors and this new eyeshadow palette. So I'm gonna put it down almost like an eyeliner, stamping it on the bottom lash line, pulling it up into the wing area. And then I'm gonna grab the, what is this? The precision blending brush. And let's pick up <laughs> natural. Cause that's what I have on my lid and it's a really pretty color. I'm gonna smoosh it out, blend it out a little bit. How's that looking? Is that okay? Probably need to get a little more concealer under here, huh? Oh, the day I found your channel, I watched almost all your videos. Fun. Well, there's a lot of those. So that'll take a while. I have been doing this when I sat down and was talking to a friend the other day because she was wanting to start up a channel. And I was like, yeah, absolutely. I'll be there to support you. Um, this is what you need to do. This, this, this. I got really real about it because, uh, it's not easy. There's a lot that goes into this. Lights, getting ready, setting up, editing, learning your editing software. Like there's just so much and other BS that goes into the back end of it that um, I kind of want to put a little bit of candy land down here too. Uh, but it got me thinking, I've been doing this for eight years. Isn't that crazy? Only a couple more years and uh, when I hit 20 under my belt, do I get to retire? <laughs> Just joking. Bad joke. Okay, I'm going to put a little concealer. No, I don't want to use that one. Let's use the e.l.f. one. Because I want to like clean up under here a little bit. I'm going to use the... Oh, that's a lot of concealer. What is this? I don't know. Some sort of concealer brush that came in an Ipsy bag. Well, let's talk about that for a moment. So last week I shared with you my Ipsy glam bag. I showed it in the live because I wasn't ready to film like the full video. I was waiting for my plus box to arrive. My plus box still has not arrived. And I've emailed them a couple times and all they keep saying is we shipped it. It's just taking a while, but there's no update on the shipping tracking number they sent. Like if there was an update, I'd be like, oh, okay, cool. It's in Texas. It's going to take a while. I know everything with COVID's going on, like I'll be patient, but there just hasn't been any update. So I feel like they either didn't ship it out because when I um, did like a customer service thing with FedEx, they're like, yeah, we haven't received the package yet. And I was like, oh, lovely. Okay. You know, what? Are, what is Ipsy going to do? Am I not going to get the products? Because I had put in for, to use some points 
and it didn't come in my glam bag, so I can only assume that it's going to come in my glam plus. But also, I had, I had chose like a specific item, and I was so excited about it. So I hope I'm still able to get it, and they don't just refund me. Um, either way, I just want the box. At the same time, I want you know I want them to. I don't know. I just want the box. <laughs> That's like basically what I'm going at. Don't like Ipsy. I've been with them for seven years, getting box or bags from the Glam Bag for seven years. Actually, the pile that you see right, I don't know if my hand is going on top of them right. Let me see if I can get the video to catch up to me. Yes, this right here is all Ipsy bags pretty much. So that's not even, yeah, it's literally just Ipsy bags. And a couple other little train cases I've collected over the years that I need to like, am I actually going to use this or is it just sitting here taking up space and collecting dust kind of deal. And I didn't put that together. Holy crap. Sorry, I didn't swear. No, I said holy crap. Okay. <laughs> I've been trying not to swear on my videos because people make comments about it, but I just do it naturally, you know? Um, I didn't I didn't realize that. That's that's crazy. Oh, that makes me uh. y'all get me emotional today. I'm already PMSing. I'm already <laughs> in an emotional state. <laughs> I'm a mess. Oh, psoriasis. So do you get any sort of spots or breakouts or flare ups on the face? There is a hair on my nose and it's tickling my nose. Okay, there we go. Probably just messed up my concealer in that area. Oh, well, um, I get psoriasis on my elbows and lately I've been having such a crazy breakout. I don't know if you can tell, I've been putting my medication on it. I have it on my knees and I get it on the back of my scalp sometimes. Um, I know a lot of my clients will get some of their eczema breakouts or flare-ups, I should say, on the eyebrow area, um, inside of the arms, and sometimes just randomly on the chest. So I'd be curious to hear, like, are you having any allergy flare-ups recently? Have you been exposed to anything? Um, stress in the body can lower our immune system, which makes it so your body was, was normally fighting off those things, and now they're, like, coming out. A lot of people will start to get some more like cold sores, um, like herpes breakouts at the moment, just because stress, again, lowers your immune system. And since that is a virus that lives in your system dormant, it'll come forward when your body is feeling a little bit weak, which is really scary to think about with, you know, COVID and Corona, whatever you want to call it out there. If you're already like having an immune deficiency because of excessive allergies or stress or anything like that, you're more susceptible to contracting it. So stay home, bro. If you can and you don't have to go out for work, stay home. Enjoy this time. It's nice. Sit in your PJs. Watch that tiger thing that everybody, I have not watched it. So I don't know what it's really about, but everybody po is posting memes about the tiger people. I don't, is it good? Should I watch it? I don't know. I don't really watch TV. Uh, do I want Acapulco or Calm? Probably Calm because I need some Calm up in this, up in here. Let's do some Calm in this inner corner. Oh, and I want to put some of the glitter on too. Am I going to need a glitter glue? I don't know. Very light hint of green on that Calm. Very slight it almost looks yellow in the pan, but I'm glad it's not because that would look real weird. It's, I mean, it has a light little yellow tint, like a very bright green. Can you see that there? Is it popping? Okay. I want a glitter. I want glitter. Okay. Well, maybe I should swatch it out onto my hand and see how gritty it is. Cause is it gonna be like Tati glitter where it's actually gonna stick? Or is it going to be 
like wet and wild glitter and get all over my room. Pretty. I barely touched my fingers in there too because I wanted to, I didn't want to give like the swatches that you see on Instagram where people are like digging their finger in. I wanted an actual representation. Okay, chunky. And that one was a little bit smoother. Okay, so they are going to fall all over the place. I need a glitter glue. Let's pull out my glitter glue just to be safe. I have the NYX glitter primer. Where's the brush that I use for things? There it is. Oh shoot. Dropping things everywhere. Oh, sorry if I missed your comment, Nikki. My family in New York is, my mom's doing well because my mom uh, lives with my two sisters and my stepdad. And my mom, if, if you don't know already, she is definitely immune deficient, if that's the right word. She has like no immunity. She's sick all the time. So I've been telling her, like telling my sisters, like they need to be the ones going out because it's so bad where they are. Um, they live a little bit outside of Newburgh. And if you saw on the news, like there was riots down there last week. Um, one of the police officers got shot. The guy ended up getting shot. I think he ended up dying, unfortunately. Like it is just not a cool, calm situation there. And um, my one sister is still working because she works in a hospital testing lab. Not really, she's like in a third party. They test the gases from hospitals to make their, sure they're safe for people. And then my other sister is um, special education in the math department. So she's like home at the moment. So she's been taking care of my mom and my stepdad because my stepdad has diabetes. So he has to be super freaking careful too. But yeah, they're, right now they're doing good. Getting a little stir crazy at the house, you know, cause they have their big dogs there and everybody's home. But uh, yeah, they're, they're good and they're healthy. Uh, my grandparents are out there by them. Uh, this is a glitter glue, by the way. I'm gonna kinda just pat it on a tiny little bit. I have it on the back of my hand. Cause you don't need a lot of this at all. And I don't like how heavy it can feel if you over apply it. And I'm just doing it kind of like in the middle-ish section of the lid and then before it totally dries I'm gonna use this little spatula silicone glitter alcohol heater from elf I think it was like a dollar and I thought it was so silly and stupid and it works amazing um I'm gonna do bud let's go dark deep and dark maybe we'll kind of gradiate them together but yeah they don't live in the city they live in the suburbs but it's still it's running amok up there like the hospitals are overloaded and um my one sister had to like get up at like 5 a.m just to get toilet paper it's crazy it's crazy but they're good my dad's good my dad's a homebody though so he's like used to just chilling okay this that looks weird i don't think i'm doing this right <laughs> Where's my cloth? Okay, I have these cute little makeup eraser things. I don't use it for makeup erasing. I use it for like brushes and stuff. I think they were like a sample or something. Okay, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of Goddess. See, it looks so patchy on here. Maybe I need to use my finger. The colors are so pretty though. It does not look like I'm blending it together very well at all. Let's try it with the finger. No, yeah. okay. Let's, more is more. Let's experiment, oh, that's pretty. Okay, well now I need to work on smooshing out those areas. It is crazy. Yeah, and I'm glad they're okay too. I call and I text and I make sure they're not doing anything stupid because my mom is totally like, I'm fine and thinks she can conquer the world, which she can. She's 
pretty badass, but not in this situation, Mom. If you're here, Mom. She was in our live last week. And my mom's such a mom. She'll be like, are you wearing a sweater? Are you doing this? Are you staying safe? Did you sanitize already 12 times today? She's so, she's a mom's mom. Okay, let's do a little bit more calm. Just to kind of hopefully marry this whole thing together. I don't know if I'm liking that transition. This one I was able to kind of smoosh out. I put a little bit more of plant out here. I don't know. Maybe I'm just really bad at the whole glitter thing. We are YouTube besties. I would absolutely love that. Yes. Where are you at again, Sarah? Or you don't have to message on here. Remind me, because i it's just escaping me at the moment where you're at in the country. I also just have, like, the worst memory ever. So don't definitely... Ah, no! Glitter everywhere! Don't take it personally, <laughs> please. Yeah, I'll definitely, and how do you say your first name? Is it Sai? Am I saying that right? Oh, yay, okay. I, well, I always feel weird, like I don't wanna make people, butcher people's names, like that's an awful feeling. So, yay. All right, let's try the other side. Maybe I'll have better success over here and we can kind of go back and forth. Oh my God, this is so bad. Oh, dude, Sarah, you are not far from Carlsbad and we go there, we're going. I will smuggle my ass there, okay? Like, we spend a week, week and a half in Carlsbad every year. Oh, it looks so pretty without the glitter. I feel like I totally screwed up this side. All right, whatever. Um, we 100% need to meet up when I'm out in Carlsbad. Absolutely. You, we can do like sushi night. Do you like sushi? There's a couple of sushi restaurants that we go to in Carlsbad that are like freaking amazing. There's two that I can think of off the top of my head. What is the name of that one? Meet Nico? I don't know. I keep it in my phone and it almost looks like a little diner. And it is like the best thing ever. Yeah, I would love that. I would love, love, love that. We could do like a little date night together. But I'm freaking going. <laughs> I'm going to the beach. I Everyone's going to need a little vacation after this whole thing. So I know people are worried about the economy and stuff like that. I'm not too worried about it. I mean, in the time being, it sucks. But if businesses can find a way to just stay afloat right now, once everything comes up, people are going to be so stir crazy and want to get out. It's going to be so good. I just, I'm putting that intention out there. Okay, this side already looks better. <laughs> oh gosh. What am I going to do? I just look crazy. I'm going to answer the door and like, oh, my battery's dying. No. You're having a party with all your friends. Hopefully not anytime soon, but afterwards. Is that what you're saying? Like when all this shit clears up? Hell yeah, let's have a party. Let's have a barbecue. We need to have people over. I wanna get, I, I'll have to show you. I wanna get a slip and slide that takes up like the backyard. I still might get it. It's like $30, but I saw it on the Target website and I kind of want it. <laughs> um, should I get it? I don't know. What are your thoughts? Should I get it and like do a vlog? My fat ass going down a slip and slide. <laughs> I'm hard to see how laughing. I crack myself up. Oh man. Crack my oh boy. No, I need to stop touching it. No, no, it's getting worse. That's what I think too. I think as long as um, 
we can get through the period of everything being shut down. Like if everything could just pause for a moment so everybody can stop contaminating everybody and sharing their heebie-jeebie germs, um, I think everything will be fine. Uh, any tips to look for when picking a school to become an esthetician? Hey, Autumn, I would say tour several of them in your area. Even if you're like, I don't wanna go to that one, tour it to see what they are doing that you like. And then when you go to the school, you know, like it's like shopping for a house, you know which one you're gonna kinda like. Um, still look at other houses, still look at other schools to kind of compare it to. I personally wanted to choose a school that had individual treatment rooms so that I was as comfortable and ready to go out into the workforce when I was grad, like right after graduating. I wanted to be ready to hit the ground running type of thing. Now my nose is running, hold on. And um, this is a different one. And what was I saying? Individual treatment rooms. Can it be plausible in your lifestyle? Like. Is this school super far away? Because there was a really good school out here in Arizona that I was thinking about going to, but it's out in Scottsdale. It was going to basically make the six months that I was going to be in school hell because I wouldn't be able to get the kids. I would have to pay for after school, but I wasn't working a lot at the time. It would have put a lot of extra stress on my life when I got pretty much the same education at a school close by. I mean, it is what you put into it. School is 100% going to be the effort that you put into it. So if you are going to be lazy and watch Netflix all day, you are not going to be as prepared or ready for the state board or prepared or ready to feel confident um, sharing your knowledge with a client right out of school. Um, definitely continued education is huge. That's why I'm glad to be with the company that I'm in with now. Um, I have a knowledge base of three different clinical lines, four technically, and um, it has giving me the confidence that if I needed to go out on my own, I totally could right now. Um, I'm not going to, cause I'm definitely happy in the situation I'm in right now, but maybe down the road, that could be something I could do. Let's see. We are going to support every business around me. Yeah. If you can order takeout and you're comfortable doing that, like the curbside to go type of stuff. Absolutely. They did, they made a slip and slide for the backyard. I'm gonna have to send you the link to the one I'm looking at and tell me if it's stupid or not. But when I saw it, I totally felt like a five-year-old. I was like, oh my gosh. Cause who remembers the crazy Daisy that would hook up to the hose and like flop around. And I thought that was the coolest thing as a kid, but it was always so cold in New York. There was always that one day in the summer that my mom would be like, today's the day you can go out and play with water. And I'd be like, okay. I feel like I need to take my hair down. I feel like I look like a turd still. Um, I washed it last night. Ooh, look at me. And I did a light, very light blow dry this morning just so my roots weren't wet because my hair's so thick that it stays damp up in there for a long time. Um, I am not totally happy with the eyes. I kind of liked it before I ruined it with the glitter. I don't know. I'm like upset with myself. I don't know why the glitter just does not look good today. Maybe because I was trying to talk into it. I know, I don't know. I probably would have done this if it wasn't everybody here. Let's see. What does Acapulco look like? Uh, you can barely see it over the messed up glitter here. It just looks messy right up in here. It's not my favorite. I'm probably gonna have to wash it off because I can already feel it feeling a little itchy. Not the eyeshadow, the glitter part of it. Glitter can do that to me sometimes. I know, I had to wash the hair last night. It was day three, day four for me. And you know when you just like feel it and you're like, it's touching me. So I had to wash it last night, even though I was not feeling it and did not want to do it. So I'm gonna put a little bit of primer on. This is the Voluminous Base from L'Oreal. Don't know what it is about this one, but I have been loving it. Just a little bit here. I'm not a big fan of the Lash Paradise, which is crazy because this is what, this came in like a duo with the Lash Paradise. Ooh, there's a fuzzy. Um, I don't know, I just don't really like that one. 
Oh, you know what I'm going to use? I'm totally having like ADD right now. I was going to use my two favorites, which is the Roller Lash from Benefit and the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. But I'm kind of like, hmm. I remembered I ordered. See, I keep a box underneath my little beauty table here of stuff that I want to play with, like nail stickers. And this is the one and only Fenty beauty thing that I've ever purchased. Allie, I think it was you that I was talking to about this this morning, right? Um, how about like Fenty? And I'm like, mm, I don't know if I believe the hype, but they had this little duo of the highlighter and the balm, the lip gloss in here. And everybody talks about the lip gloss. So I do want to try that. What else is in here? Yeah, the hair mat. Oh, I should have used this last night. Um, a scalp hair treatment from Hask and a anti-frizz deep conditioner. I think this was my Ulta slash Sephora order in here. What else is in here? What is this big box? Oh, the nail polish I still need to play with, but I want to film a video and do like a wear test on that one. But this is what I wanted to dig out. I got a replenishment of the primer that I just put on. And then I picked up the Voluminous Original. So basically this formula, but with color in it, it's green. And that's only appropriate for the look we have going on today. So dare I open yet another mascara? I was just bitching at myself about doing this. Here I go swearing again, sorry. Uh, fuck it, we're gonna open it. I'm gonna use it, it's green, it's fun. And it's like a hunter green, or at least that's what the package looks like. So I'll leave that in there. See, I still have my Ipsy bag in here to talk about. What else? Oh, and when I got the Makeup Revolution palette, they had a free gift with a purchase of Brave Spirit. I don't think I've opened this yet though. It's bigger than I thought it would be for a free gift with purchase. I thought it was going to be like, you know, when you get the Clinique ones and it's like this freaking big. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You know what this kind of giving me vibes of is Jeffree Star. I do not own any of his stuff, but this is kind of giving me like Jeffree Star vibes. Um, that could be fun. I really want to play with these oranges and the pinks. Do you maybe like a fun, maybe like blue under the lash line? Summery look. What did I do with the mascara? There it is. Oh, shoot. I just like knocked everything over. Oh, well, I'll clean that up after. The Lancome one. Um, the Defis, Denif, uh, Deficiles, is that, how do you say it? There's two different ones that I've tried from Lancome. One I liked and one was kind of like, mm. The one with the little square packet, do I still keep? I hoarded it for a while because I was like, I wanna remember the name. No, I think I finally threw it out. But there was one, it was like a square-ish package that I really liked from Lancome. And then my lashes look really pretty, but I know they're definitely pricier. Yeah, the Lash Paradise just made it like look super, super spidery. And like you said, like hard, like stiff, like hairspray hard. So not my jam. Okay, you and your mom's wear sounds like normal. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay, let's try this mascara. How fun. Who remembers using colorful like blue and green mascaras in like middle school? That was a thing back in the 90s, early 2000s. You're probably only going to ever see the green in like daylight because, hmm. I mean, it's doing things for my lashes. I can see them, but it's not a black color. So it's definitely not as um, pronounced as like my other mascaras. I wonder if I should have done another extra coat of the primer because the primer's white. Maybe it would have given it a more of a pop. Oh, I'm getting my lashes to stick together. I screwed up. I did too many wiggles. There we go. Fixed it. I don't know. You're not going to be able to see the green, I don't think. You never did that? I t You were born in 1990. My sister was born in 1990. The same age as one of my sisters. My middle sister. The other one is, was born in like 95 or something. There's three of us out there in the world, believe it or not. 
but we are all so different. I wish they were close by because I would totally have them on a video. Well, I would force them to be on a video. <laughs> They're, they don't do a lot of social media. My one sister doesn't have any socials, like not even an Instagram or a Facebook. And then my other one has Facebook. No, she has an Instagram too. Okay. Never mind. She has socials, but the one sister does not do any sort of internetness. She's so, they both are so smart though. I feel like I'm definitely the black sheep of the family. I'm the weirdo. And if she was here, she'd be like, yeah, you are. You're the weirdo. <laughs> we just give each other crap all the time. Oh, I'm getting that white crap on my lips. I hate that. Drives me nuts. Oh, you know what? Now that I wipe this off, let's pull out the Fenty one. Let's do it together. How long will this let me do a video? Because I feel like it's been longer than an hour. Will it let me keep going? Well, this is like clumped together. I can see it in the monitor. There we go. Let's pull out the Fenty one. And then I'll probably have to end because I think my computer's gonna die. And then I won't be able to see anything. Um, so much shit everywhere. Okay. So this one is in the shade Gloss Bot? No. This is called the Gloss Bomb in a Universal Lip Luminizer in the shade Fenty Glow, or is it called Gloss Bomb? Fenty Glow is the name of the shade. Okay, sorry. There was like so many names, I couldn't tell which one it was. Oh, my computer just died. Shoot. Okay. Whoa. Okay. A lot comes out. So I almost have to use like the back end, not like the little flat top. I like the Bobbi Brown one a little bit better tone wise, even though they're very similar looking at it like side by side, but there's something about this one that I like a little bit. Maybe I just over applied on this one. So I guess I'll have to try it again. It has a strong fragrance. What is that? It just smells like a uh, lip smackers. What is it with the nineties nostalgia today? It smells like lip smackers, <laughs> lip gloss. Okay. Yeah, that is 100% what it smells like. It smells like my early years. <laughs> oh, I want this mascara. It, the mascara looks pretty. Like, it's definitely doing things for my lashes. I just want to be able to see the green. I don't know. And my makeup's starting to break up around my nose. Dang it. It's probably because I keep touching my nose. I'll probably have to smooth this out or spray it down a little bit. Let's put a little bit of powder on. I really like, where is it? Even though I was complaining about Natasha Denona earlier, I do like a couple of the things. That's why I want to do a full video of what I like and what I did not like. Because some of the stuff is not worth the money whatsoever. <laughs> Sorry, I just almost knocked that all over. Um... What is this called? The Invisible HG Face Powder. And I'm gonna put just a little bit right here. And I kind of like try to disperse it a bit. And then I get a big fluffy, is this my, yeah, this is my big fluffy brush. Coat the bristles a bit. Um, Pull face and then do normal. Kind of help.
helps mattify things out a little bit. Maybe I will put a little highlighter on since we are just doing funky funky today. What did I do with it? Oh, did I put it there? Yeah. Fenty? Or no, I lied. Amrezy. From Anastasia. You know, I bought those palettes at Christmas time and I haven't really played with them. They just haven't called to me. I got them because I felt like everybody and their mom had them. So I needed to have them. Everybody told me how amazing they are. And I really, I haven't played with them a lot. Maybe we need to do another live next week where I kind of play with stuff that I haven't, that I have that I haven't pulled out in a while. Let's look at the Fenty highlighter while I have you. Very glittery, holy crap. Hmm. It looks like an eyeshadow. It looks like it would be better for deeper skin tone. So maybe I need to like pass that along or something. And the gloss isn't bad. Now that I kind of like blotted a little bit off. So I don't know. What do we think of this overall finished look? Is it okay? I feel weird that I can't see your comments right now. I should go get my tablet. See, the makeup out here in the outer corner keeps disappearing. And it's going to drive me nuts. So I want to put a little more. See, right here, I keep putting more makeup here. Because I feel like it looks better when it's, like, blended a bit better and darker. But for some reason, it just keeps disappearing. Where is it going? What is my eyeball doing with it? Okay. I think that is all she wrote today. Hold on, let me put this word. I do think this is cool. They have like a little hook on the plastic shield so that you can keep it to cover your uh, mirror. So I do think that that is a pretty neat feature that I haven't seen before. Um, what was I saying? I just dropped the oopsie um so yeah i think this is where we are going to finish up for today i will definitely be more mindful to charge all the things for next week um since i will be home next week let's do it again on wednesday at 10 a.m arizona time i will try to come up with some more structure for next week too maybe some questions if you have stuff that you want me to cover or things that we could just talk about in the world dm me or comment down below um i think the chat doesn't stay so you would have to comment on the actual video whoa that was weird i think my ghost is in here have you heard me talk about that you've heard me talk about that before i have a ghost that's in here or like a spirit or something okay i'm either pissing it off or it's really happy about this i look but thank you so much for joining me here today i had a lot of fun playing around with some of my favorites and some new makeup um, the look came out kind of like meh. Um, I'm going to go make the kids lunch because they're going to be here in a couple minutes. Last time I looked at the time. And then I'm going to start editing the, um, the facial video that I filmed yesterday. I'm so excited. I have a style video too. I have it filmed, but it's been taking me a while because I haven't been like motivated or inspired to edit it. Like I'll start editing it and then I get bored and I get distracted. But the skin one, like the facial one, I'm really, really, really excited. So I want to try to get that up as soon as possible. Um, again, it's very bougie. It's very deluxe. Um, I want to do like another version that's maybe a little more scaled back using maybe some Pixie products or Dermy E products, something from drugstore that is, you know, gentle yet efficacious. So yeah, I'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you next week.